Well, I hope you liked our look at Dante's Inferno. Remember, Dante's Inferno is coming out for Xbox 360, PS3, and PSP. Now, if you want more on Dante, check out our next clip with Dante Hicks from Clerks. That's right, we interviewed Brian O'Halloran from Clerks. Check it out. Hey, welcome back to Some Show. We're here with Brian O'Halloran, most famous from the Clerks movies, and he's here at the Game X. And we're just talking to him about uh, some projects that he has coming out and what came out last year. Hey, Brian, uh, what uh, new movies do you have that are out on DVD right now? Um, well, last year, what got me out here on the uh, convention circuit was a, a fake documentary uh, called Brutal Massacre, a comedy. In, uh, children's shows, you know, uh, public broadcasting. Hey, kids, you know what time it is? Harry approached me with this idea of a slasher film. And what it is, it's a fake documentary about the making of a horror film. Uh, so you got uh, David Naughton from American Werewolf in London plays the director of the film. You have Gunnar Hansen from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre as Leatherface. He plays this crazy guy that we use his house, his farmhouse as the killer's house. You got uh, Ken Farid from Dawn of the Dead is in it. You got uh, Ellen Sandweiss. Actually, all the women from The Evil Dead are in it as well. And then you even got uh, Jerry Bednob, who's more famous as the Indian guy from 40 Year Old Virgin, in it as well. So you're pretty much following this film crew around as they're trying to make this really, really bad uh, horror movie called Brutal Massacre. I also have another film that's making the film festival circuit called Hooking Up, which was made uh, here in Pennsylvania, actually, outside of the, um, I think, the, the uh, north of Philly, the suburb of north of Philly. Saturday detention would do you a world of good. No, no, that, that would not do me a world of good. I, I have right. And it's with um, Corey Feldman, myself, and Bronson Pinshaw. So if you Google hooking up, you could see uh, trailers right now. And uh, hopefully we'll get that in either theaters or to TVD with, by the end of this year. Now, what's this uh, movie that's kind of like the Power Rangers? What, what's going on with that? Uh, yeah, that was a movie that came out a couple of years ago called The Junior Defenders. The Junior Defenders was definitely a groundbreaking show. The Junior Defenders show left a permanent mark on the landscape of American popular culture. In and it's about another, funny enough, another fake documentary about the about these four child actors back in the 70s that had a kid show called The Junior Defenders, similar to like the Power Rangers. And what happens is they get abruptly canceled by the network back in the 70s. And now it's like 15 years later, and these two fans who were young kids back in the time go around ki kidnapping the now adult child actors from across the country to make them finish the episodes that they never finished. It's a very funny comedy by a director by the name of Keith Spiegel. We shot it up in Vermont. Um, it's got Ali Sheedy, Justin Henry, who was the young kid uh, Oscar nominee from Kramer vs. Kramer, uh, Jason Frank, who was uh, the white Power Ranger, actually, and a, a newcomer by the name of Frank Heselton, who was really, really good. So you can find that on Amazon.com or Best Buy or things like that. Okay, now do you have any like special edition DVDs of any of your other movies or anything like that that's coming out this holiday season? Um, I think uh, Kevin is working on a Mallrat special DVD, and there's even talks of a, uh, a Clerks, the original Clerks Blu-ray edition, which I don't know if I want anything in high definition for that film, to be quite honest with you. Um, but if it's interactive, that would be fun. Now, uh, Clerks, a lot of people see you in that. Um, what do you think your most often asked question is? Wow. Um, you know, they, they try to ask me which was more fun, Clerks 1 or Clerks 2, things like that. Um, and, and, and they're both different in many ways. You know, the first film, we were all, we were all doing our first time attempt at doing film, and, and uh, it worked out so great that we had so much fun with it. Um, but the second one was kind of great, you know, working with people like Rosario Dawson and Wanda Sykes, you know, and, and Jason Lee again, and Ben, and the, Ben Affleck and everybody else. So they both have their bonuses, I would say. Now, um, the Clerks cartoon, is there ever any plans to continue that? Because it seems like they made a couple episodes that was really good, and then it was just gone. What, whatever happened with that? Do I look like a slacker? I ain't laughing here. This is all wrong! Maybe, but when in Rome... Ah! Hey, check it out. Caddyshack. Now we're talking. There's really some heartbreak there when it, when they uh, cancel that. Uh, we're hoping, you know, I'm, the last time I talked to Kevin about that, he, he's hoping to. It's it's something that, you know, 
as long as we still have our voices, we could still do the, the voices of the characters. So hopefully, you know, I always tell people, since it, it pops up on Adult Swim, uh, Cartoon Network, every couple of weekends, um, to, to write them and, and pressure Adult Swim and uh, the Cartoon Network people, like, look, this is worth coaxing Kevin back into doing again. I believe at one time he even thought about doing a full-length feature, unrated version, kind of like South Park, bigger, better. 69. Hello? Yeah, hi. Uh, this is USA Today. We're pulling Americans on their spelling acumen for one of those cool color graphs we do. Can you please spell the phrase, I cup? I don't understand the question. What's to understand? Just spell, I cup. I, I don't get it. Man, I see you pee. Get it? Hey, you do? Because you see that yeah, Family sure, Guy whatever. and Futurama Fine. both got brought back Good. by being on Cartoon Network late at night. Right. So hopefully uh, our fans can get that back on. And, uh, yeah, the problem with that was we only got to air on ABC two episodes. So the fan base didn't even get a chance to see it. And it wasn't until it was months later that it came out on DVD that people started to go, wow, this is great. This should have stayed on. And by that time, it had gone through the system of trying to bring it back by fans.